I'm Eddie Kimani. This teacher guide is about Tafakari series of lessons on water for Standard 7 learners. In this guide, we tell you what the series of lessons are about and how it links to the official syllabus in our Kenyan curriculum. We also give you ideas for using the video lesson with your learners. In addition, we give you suggestions on how you could use or adapt some of the activities you see in the lessons in your own teaching. You may want to make notes, so have a pen and paper ready. This series of lessons link to the topic ways in which water can get polluted and ways of conserving water of the unit water for the science syllabus for standard seven. The lessons should enable learners to state how water gets polluted, describe the effects of water pollution, identify ways of controlling water pollution, describe ways of conserving water, and appreciate the importance of conserving water. The lesson covers the content points in the syllabus that relate to water pollution, effects and control of water pollution, and ways of conserving water. In addition, although not the main focus of the lessons, there are some links to the topic environment. The particular objectives and content from the syllabus that are covered in each lesson are given at the start of each lesson, as well as the lesson objectives for the lesson. There are two lessons in this series. The titles are Water Pollution, Effects and Control, and Ways of Conserving Water. In the two lessons, we follow the activities of two learners as they investigate how water gets polluted, the effects of pollution, and ways of controlling pollution. They are helped during the visit by the teacher, farmers, and people at a car wash. The mother always plays the role of a teacher in the lessons. Your learners will learn as they watch the explorers learn and explore various locations. For example, a tank behind the house and with the farmer who has mulched his crop. These videos help learners to observe and identify different ways in which water gets polluted. The activities help them develop their observation, questioning, and making inference. They begin by observing and identifying familiar uses of water in their daily lives. This video helps learners to identify different human activities, natural occurrences, and their impact on safety of water. The activities undertaken by learners arouse their curiosity and develop the skills of inquiry through questioning and critical thinking as they observe the extent of pollution along the river. The learners appreciate the need to control pollution of water sources. The learners are also given an opportunity to apply previous knowledge by cautioning concerned farmers on the risk of using farm chemicals. The videos take your learners out of the classroom and enables them to relate science to everyday life at home, on the farm, and at the river. These different learning contents expand and deepen their understanding of the content. The learners also gain self-confidence by extracting information from people through questioning. This inspires the learners to obtain information from any available source. Learners begin to appreciate that answers to scientific problems are not just in textbooks but in the immediate environment. In the two videos, you will see the teacher and other adults act as sources of information. Do not simply give the learners all the information required. Instead, expose them to situations where they can see things for themselves, arouse their curiosity, and find things out for themselves. The learners ask questions to guide their learning and feed information and terminology at key moments. By doing this, the adults mediate learning and help learners link new knowledge to the knowledge they already have.